Uh, hello, today we're going to be making wood bags for shiitake and lion's mane mushrooms. We're going to make enough to fill this 41 quart pressure cooker my friend Brad Worstel has loaned me. We're also going to be using Brad Worstel's recipe. So this recipe is for like um, a lot. So we have uh, between these two here, this one is hardwood fuel pellets, which I did five kilos, and this is uh, like chips and grindings and you know some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces of poplar, and I did two and a half kilos of this. Twelve liters of water, and uh, about uh, uh, twelve hundred grams of wheat bran of bran. I think it's wheat bran. So the first step that I want to do, one of the problems that you might run into is the expansion of the bags. When these uh, have the fuel pellets fill up with water, they get a lot bigger, which can kind of wreak havoc inside your pressure cooker. If you're mixing, sometimes guys will, like mix individual bags together. But... So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my hardwood fuel pellets into my mixing jug here, and then my 12 kilos of water. All right. Use my lucky spoon here. Stir it around. Now I want to make sure that all this gets uh, this gets fully broken up and um, absorbs all the water and does all all of its expanding before I load it into the bag. So I'm actually going to kind of just let this sit. It's already turning into a nice a nice mush. But I'm just mixing it around now. Yeah, it looks looks fairly well expanded here. Now it's still got some chunks in it. But uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. So I think number one is I'm gonna need a stronger spoon, and um, uh, number two is I'm gonna let this sit a little while longer, and um, just make sure it's all has time to soak up that water and expand before I add anything else. So we'll come back in a minute or two. Looks like this stuff is uh, is, is fairly well expanded out and it's absorbed as much water as it can. There's uh, <sighs> You can see that or not, it just doesn't look like pellets at all. It's just this chunky stuff here. Now we got our poplar stuff here. Plug that in. I'm thinking this looks a lot bigger than 41 quarts. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll stir that all up real good. And then also oh, we're gonna add in our 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 grain our bran. We'll add that in. Now that looks way more than 40 quarts. So I'm going to stir this up really good and then I'll come back to you and show you what we got. Okay, so that was really messy and difficult. Uh, my first advice would be to do two smaller batches. My second piece of advice would be to dry mix the poplar and the bran. Get ready to fill some bags. Okay, now it is time to fill the bags. I got this scooper here, which happens to hold just about two and a half pounds. That's going to help us get to our five pound goal. All right, it's an ounce over, who cares? So right now, as I'm doing these in bulk, I am just going to kind of fold the bags over kind of quickly. I'm just gonna fold them over like this real quick. I'll go back and do the uh, accordion fold later on. I just don't want too much of my moisture to evaporate out. So I'll go ahead and just uh, get all this stuff in the bags five pound bags and then uh, we're gonna fill up Brad Worstel's uh, pressure cooker with them and I'll show you 
how that's done in a minute here. Um, but I'm going to fill these bags up now. I'm not going to bore you with that. Okay, so now at this point, it's time to fold the bags the right way, which is going to be accordion style. So uh, let's make sure this is this crease is right here. This crease is right here. Push out all the air that you can. Oh, I did it the wrong way. This way. So the uh, this thing here, the flap or the vent is sticking up. Fold it back like this. And then fold this guy here. Like this. The rubber band to hold it in place. The rubber band is going to hold it in place. The rubber band will not survive pressure cooking. So, I uh, will continue to do this with all the bags. To elevate my, my thing here, I made these little three-quarter inch uh, little squish pieces of pipe to stick on the end of here. And that's just going to kind of hold the bags a little bit up out of the water. Um, so, so, I went ahead and I read the manufacturer's instructions on how to use this. And what to do, so what we'll do is we put a, an inch and a half of water at the bottom of it, and after it comes up to temperature, we're going to let it vent for seven minutes, and then pressure cook so the rocker only rocks a little bit. What we have here are the bags are ready to go. I just put some aluminum foil over top of them just to keep the water from dripping down into there, and now I'm going to load these into the pressure cooker and pressure cook them and then they will be ready to uh, inoculate after they cool off.